Welcome to Radio Primavera Sound, and we're joined today by the Canadian Enviro disco goddess Jada G, uh, a DJ and producer who wants you all to put the damn phone away on the dance floor. How are you doing, Jada? <laughs> I'm doing well, thanks. Was that a fair enough introduction? I felt it. Uh, uh... That was amazing. I think that's one of the best intros I've ever had. Thank you. <laughs> Well, it's good. You know, it it, it kind of gets to two things. I well, three things that I really support: disco, the environment, uh, and putting your phone away on the dance floor. Which are three yes. very good things. Totally. And hey, well, I've been to Canada. It's very nice. So maybe four good things. Yeah, there you go. I like that. I'll take it. So your your new single, both of us, um, is I, I would describe it as a feel good piano banger. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree with you. <laughs> but you said that you wondered whether releasing it right now, um, obviously with, with the, the pandemic going on, was the right thing to do. Could, could you talk, talk us through that? Like, why were you worried about it? Uh, well, you know, with these things, you kind of plan them out. And for me, as a DJ, a big part of my release plan is that I'm out DJing, playing it, and kind of communicating with my fans. And it's also a dance tune. It's meant for the dance floor. So I kind of was like, oh, I don't know. Is this the right time? Like, is this when I should be releasing a dance floor banger? <laughs> but it's, you know, in the end, I love the song so much. And it, it Every time even I listen to it, and I've listened to it many, many times at this point, um, that it, it, it gives me, it lifts me up. It gives me such joy. And so after like thinking about it a bit, I was like, you know, maybe, maybe that will give the same feeling to everyone else, you know, when we're stuck inside and such. And has that been um, the sort of response you've been getting? Yeah, it's been really wonderful, actually. Like, I, I can't tell you how many DMs I get and such from fans um, where they're saying, like, that they listen to it on repeat. It, it helps them get up in the morning and it, it just lifts them up exactly what I was hoping it would do. So it, it really, um, yeah, that's been incredibly heartwarming. And I'm just so happy that, that we did make the decision to release it. Do you dance? Are you a big dancer? <laughs> well, what do you mean? Professionally or no, just no, no, as no. a happy dancing DJ? <laughs> Generally, you know, when, when you when you when you listen to music, do you do you dance? Uh yeah, I would say so. I think like it depends. Like, you know, if I'm cooking and listening, especially if like a friend is over or something, yeah, I'll dance. I definitely I'll dance. Or if I'm DJing by myself, I'll definitely dance. I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the reason I ask is because obviously we can't go to clubs now. So where it, do you think is the best place to listen to both of us? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. Like for me, my favorite time to listen to music is going on a walk. Because mm -hmm. then you're like, you're moving your body and you're like, being stimulated by the outside world and I don't know it's just like that's my my favorite place to listen to music but then also because it's a dance tune maybe you know listening to your living room is, is also good I don't know I, I think depends on the person but those are my two two favorite spots I would say <laughs> um I also love listening to music um when walking and it kind of it kind of ties into something I wanted to, to ask you about because you're you're from um, rural Canada. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> and you lived in Berlin, but you live in London now. Exactly. So, do you find the, the environment the environment you're in? Do you find it really uh, changes the music you make? Oh huh, yeah. Um, definitely. I think it. You know, there's so many factors that come into play when it comes to making music. It's you know, very much um, an emotional thing where you are at in um, your emotional state. Um, it's also 
culturally, you know, like when living in Berlin versus living in London, like what you're exposed to musically um, is so different because you're in a different culture. But also like these are, you know, London is obviously it's like one of the biggest cities in the world. And so, yeah, it definitely has an effect in terms of the kind of music you make versus if you're out in the middle of nowhere surrounded by nature and such. So, yeah. Shall we have a quick listen to uh, both of us? Anything, what should we listen out for in the song? Oh gosh, just, just let it take you through, through all the beats and all the motions. 